Imagine a world where the very act of observing an event changes its outcome. This isn't just a thought experiment or a philosophical musing, it's a fundamental aspect of our universe as revealed by the strange and fascinating field of quantum mechanics. Picture a reality where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, defying our everyday intuition. This phenomenon, known as superposition, allows particles to be in multiple places or states at once, only settling into a single state when observed or measured. This is the captivating realm of quantum mechanics, a revolutionary theory that governs the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic levels. It challenges our classical understanding of the universe, introducing concepts that seem counterintuitive and even bizarre. In this invisible world, the familiar laws of classical physics break down, replaced by a set of bizarre yet fascinating principles. Classical physics, which works so well for the macroscopic world, fails to explain the behavior of particles at the quantum level. Our journey into the quantum realm begins with a fundamental shift in perspective. We must abandon the certainty and predictability of classical physics and embrace a new way of thinking, where probability and uncertainty reign supreme. Unlike the deterministic world of classical physics, where objects have well-defined properties and trajectories, quantum mechanics introduces the concept of probability and uncertainty. Particles are described by probability clouds, indicating where they are likely to be found rather than their exact positions. At the heart of this paradigm shift lies the wave function, a mathematical entity that describes the quantum state of a particle. The wave function provides a complete description of the probabilities of all possible outcomes of a quantum system. The wave function encapsulates all the information we can possibly know about a quantum system. It is a powerful tool that allows physicists to make predictions about the behavior of particles, even if those predictions are inherently probabilistic. However, unlike classical physics where knowing the initial conditions allows us to predict the future with certainty, the wave function only provides us with probabilities. This means that even with complete knowledge of a quantum system, we can only predict the likelihood of different outcomes, not the exact result. This inherent randomness is not a limitation of our knowledge, but a fundamental aspect of the quantum world. It suggests that at the most basic level, nature is governed by chance and probability, challenging our classical notions of causality and determinism. One of the most intriguing and perplexing phenomena in quantum mechanics is entanglement. When particles become entangled, their states are linked in such a way that the state of one particle instantly influences the state of another, no matter how far apart they are. This spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it, defies our classical understanding of space and time. The principles of quantum mechanics are not just theoretical curiosities, they have practical applications that are revolutionizing technology. Quantum computing, for example, leverages the superposition and entanglement of qubits to perform computations that would be impossible for classical computers. This promises to transform fields ranging from cryptography to material science. Even today, quantum mechanics underpins much of the technology we take for granted. MRI machines, semiconductor devices, and lasers all rely on principles of quantum physics. As our understanding of the quantum world deepens, we can expect even more groundbreaking innovations. The journey into the quantum realm is far from over. Scientists continue to explore and unravel the mysteries of this strange and wonderful world, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and opening up new possibilities for the future. The more we learn, the more we realize how much there is yet to discover. In the quantum realm, particles do not possess definite properties like position or momentum until they are measured. This is a stark contrast to the macroscopic world we are familiar with, where objects have well-defined attributes. In our everyday experience, we can pinpoint the location of a car on the road or the speed of a baseball in flight. However, in the microscopic world of quantum mechanics, such certainty is elusive. Instead, they exist in a superposition of states, a concept that challenges our classical intuition. Superposition means that a particle can be in multiple states at once, much like a cat that is both alive and dead in Schrodinger's famous thought experiment. This duality is not something we encounter in our daily lives making it a difficult concept to grasp. Imagine a coin spinning in the air. It's neither heads nor tails until it lands. This analogy helps us understand superposition, but it is still an oversimplification. In reality, a quantum particle in superposition is in all possible states simultaneously, not just two. 
This means that until we measure it, we cannot know its exact state. Similarly, a quantum particle exists in a blurry haze of possibilities, described by its wave function. The wave function is a mathematical description that encapsulates all the potential states of the particle. It is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics, providing a probabilistic framework for understanding the behavior of particles at the quantum level. This wave function, often depicted as a wave-like pattern, represents the probability of finding the particle at different locations. The wave function is not a physical wave but a representation of probabilities. It tells us where the particle is likely to be found but not where it actually is until we measure it. The peaks of the wave correspond to regions of high probability, while the troughs indicate low probability. This means that in some areas the particle is more likely to be found, while in others it is less likely. The wave function provides a complete description of the particle's potential states, but it does not give us a definite answer until a measurement is made. However, until a measurement is made, the particle's position remains uncertain, existing as a superposition of all possible outcomes. This uncertainty is a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics, reflecting the inherent unpredictability of the quantum world. It is not due to a lack of information or precision in our measurements but rather a fundamental property of nature. This inherent uncertainty is not due to a lack of information but rather a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics. Known as the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, it states that certain pairs of properties, like position and momentum, cannot both be precisely known at the same time. The more accurately we know one, the less accurately we can know the other. This principle has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. The act of measurement forces the particle to choose a definite state, collapsing the wave function and revealing a single outcome. This process, known as wave function collapse, is one of the most mysterious aspects of quantum mechanics. It raises questions about the nature of reality and the role of the observer in the quantum world. This probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics has profound implications for our understanding of reality. It suggests that at a fundamental level, the universe is not deterministic, but probabilistic. This challenges our classical view of a predictable clockwork universe and opens up new possibilities for understanding the nature of existence. Superposition is perhaps the most mind-boggling concept in quantum mechanics, allowing particles to exist in multiple states simultaneously. Imagine a cat that is both alive and dead at the same time, a seemingly paradoxical situation. This thought experiment, known as Schrodinger's cat, highlights the counterintuitive nature of superposition. In the quantum world, particles can be in a superposition of states, much like a spinning coin being both heads and tails until it lands. For example, an electron can be in a superposition of spin-up and spin-down states, or a photon can be in a superposition of different polarization states. This ability to exist in multiple states simultaneously has profound implications for quantum information processing. By manipulating these superpositions, we can perform computations that are impossible for classical computers. However, the act of measurement destroys this superposition, collapsing the wave function and forcing the particle into a definite state. Measurement plays a crucial role in quantum mechanics, transforming the abstract world of wave functions into the concrete realm of observations. In the quantum world, particles exist in a state of superposition, where they can be in multiple states at once. This is a stark contrast to our everyday experiences in the classical world, where objects have definite positions and velocities. The act of measurement forces the quantum system to choose a specific state, collapsing the wave function and giving us a definite outcome. When we measure a quantum system, we force it to transition from a superposition of states to a definite state. This transition is not just a simple change, but a fundamental shift in the nature of the system. Before measurement, the system is described by a wave function that encompasses all possible states. The measurement process reduces this wave function to a single state, a phenomenon that has puzzled scientists for decades. This process, known as wave function collapse, is one of the most puzzling aspects of quantum theory. It raises profound questions about the nature of reality and the role of the observer. How does the act of measurement cause the wave function to collapse? Is the observer an integral part of the quantum system, or is there an objective reality independent of observation? These questions remain at the heart of quantum mechanics and continue to inspire debate and research. 
Imagine a beam of light passing through a polarizing filter. This simple experiment can help us understand the concept of wave function collapse. The polarizing filter only allows light waves oscillating in a particular direction to pass through, while others are blocked. This is analogous to the measurement process in quantum mechanics, where only certain states are allowed to exist after measurement. Only light waves oscillating in a particular direction can pass through, while others are blocked. This filtering process is similar to how measurement in quantum mechanics filters out certain possibilities leaving only one outcome. The light waves that pass through the filter represent the definite state of the quantum system after measurement. Similarly, when we measure a quantum particle's property, we are essentially filtering out certain possibilities, collapsing the wave function into a single outcome. This outcome is what we observe and measure, but it is just one of many possible states that the particle could have been in before measurement. The act of measurement forces the particle to choose a state, much like the polarizing filter forces the light waves to align in a particular direction. This collapse of the wave function is not a gradual process, but an instantaneous jump, a quantum leap from uncertainty to definiteness. This sudden change is one of the most intriguing aspects of quantum mechanics. It suggests that the quantum world operates on principles that are fundamentally different from those of the classical world. The idea of a quantum leap challenges our understanding of continuity and change, forcing us to rethink our concepts of time and space. The act of measurement fundamentally alters the system, destroying the superposition and revealing a single outcome. This alteration is not just a passive observation but an active intervention that changes the state of the system. In the classical world, measurement is seen as a neutral act that does not affect the system being measured. However in the quantum world, measurement is an integral part of the system's dynamics, shaping its behavior and outcomes. This probabilistic nature of measurement is a key departure from classical physics, where observations are assumed to have no impact on the system being observed. In quantum mechanics, the observer plays a crucial role in determining the outcome of the measurement. This interplay between the observer and the observed challenges our traditional notions of objectivity and reality. It suggests that the act of observation is not just a passive recording of events, but an active process that shapes the very nature of reality.